Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are in downtown Cleveland today talking with the folks from one community. We've got the co-founder and uh, CEO, Lev Gonick, and COO, Brett Lindsay. Hey, you guys, we're out here on the street in downtown. Lev, what's going on with one community? It's a big, big time for you guys. The growth has been tremendous. It, it's huge, Thomas. You know, one community is all grown up and really having big impact. You know, today we're a $200 million, let me repeat it, $200 million digital infrastructure, really one of the biggest in the entire country. And we're touching now over 2,800 miles of our own fiber optic. It's a community-owned uh, asset that we have with hundreds and hundreds of critical, critical uh, services on the network, healthcare, schools, government, and really uh, exciting time for one community. So you guys have been a nonprofit now for about 10 years, and you've been growing like crazy. And mainly you've got hospitals, schools, universities all hooked up to this fiber, broadband, really fast, lots of data. And now you're, you're making a new move with this EverStream product, right? Brett, talk about this, because this really opens it up to all kinds of businesses. So we've been serving, as you said, hospitals for a long time. And as that's happened, folks have started to become aware that we have this big network across the entire region. So business customers have started to jump on the network for really a, f a couple reasons. They want to connect to data centers and they want to connect to the cloud. And because of that, they're coming to us. Our, the inbound activity has been really exciting for us to see the growth opportunity we have here in Cleveland. So this is really a, a, a new move for you guys, Love. This is a strategic move saying, we're not just going to work with the huge institutions, we're going we're to work with mid-sized, small-sized businesses. What does it mean for them? How do they get involved in this? Well, just to correct the record, you know, we're mid-sized and large enterprises, actually, Thomas, because they're the ones today that actually want the data center access that Brett was talking about. And really, I mean, this is a huge play. We have excess capacity in this huge network that we've built, and really we're obligated by the terms of the investments that were made by the federal government to actually make it available to anyone who wants to purchase and that's not just the nonprofit sector that includes everyone in the business towers here in downtown Cleveland it includes um, anyone uh, in the banking industry in the legal industry in the manufacturing industry we want it all you guys are are, are going for it big time I mean this I noticed in the news there's there's a lot that's been happening lately um, Google has made a huge move to move into uh, communities like this and make a commitment with something like 37, 38 different uh, local communities. What does that mean for us here in northern Ohio where one community's already had a foothold for, for 10 years? Well, I think the way to look at it is that we're significantly further ahead than any of the other markets in the entire United States. We have been here doing exactly what Google and a number of other players are after for a decade. And so we're, we have a significant advantage over anywhere else in the country on bringing both new businesses, startup opportunities, and advancing the network here better than anywhere else. And if I could just add, Thomas, on that, you know, Google and everyone else is basically going, you know, the gold standard is getting to one gig. Everyone's read about it or heard about it, right? What Brett and the team are building actually is gig is just the beginning. You know, one community and EverStream are really going to take the roof off the top of the idea that 1,000 megabits per second is as fast as she goes. So you're talking 10 gig, 100 gig. What, what does that mean to people? I mean, when you're uploading and downloading video, we were talking earlier that Netflix has taken up about a third of the, of the broadband bandwidth now. What does it mean to people? How do, you, how do you spell it out for them? Does it mean just faster speeds? Does it mean they're going to download a movie in, in seconds instead of hours? What does it really mean? Well, that's exactly what it is. It's making the, making the speed so much faster than what they're used to today. It's almost hard to put into words for them. Without seeing it, it's difficult to understand how fast that actually is for somebody. But if you are a large institution in downtown Cleveland trying to get access to the cloud, this means that you can do things at 10, 100 times faster than you could today with any other provider in town. It's also attracting you know, new talented people from you know, both here in Cleveland who want to get into the game as well as people from outside of the market coming because if they really want the biggest sandbox to play in, this is the city. This is the region. And really, we've had terrific uptake on folks expressing interest and in actually working with the developer community in our region who want to get really close to the biggest pipes that we can provide.
Most of these startup companies are, are internet based or they have a huge internet uh, component to them. Is, is that what we're doing? Is that the play here really is, is to get these startups and make this a really startup friendly community? It absolutely is. I mean, one of the things that we've recently launched is what we're referring to as the Broadband Innovation Fund. And the purpose of that is to try to get early pre seed money into startup entrepreneurs of twenty five to fifty thousand dollars to make certain that those businesses A get started and B stay in our area. Lev, stepping back a moment, we've just seen this, this huge announcement from Comcast that they want to buy Time Warner, uh, and, and they're still pushing, you know, sort of a cable, uh, coaxial version of broadband uh, that's pretty fast uh, compared to what it used to be, but it's nowhere near what you guys are doing, right? Right, and, and the truth is that, you know, right now we're the only players with pure glass. That is to say fiber optic everywhere, end to end. And, you know, uh, we wish, you know, th that the marketplace here is competitive, strong with, uh, with folks who can uh, keep, keep the uh, opportunities coming. Uh, and, uh, you know, here in this marketplace, uh, obviously, there'll be transition work. And everything we're hearing from the marketplace is uh, people are really excited about our offering and, uh, you know, prepared to take a look at us, especially given the transition that's going to be happening with Time Warner. Thank you guys for building this stuff out for us here. Over on the cool Cleveland side, we're, we're busy doing the content that's flowing through these pipes. So thank you for keeping the pipes big and fast and, and affordable. So thanks, thanks for taking time to talking with us. All right, thanks, thank Thomas. you very much. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in cool Cleveland.